Hi, George here. We're going to be removing the text off of this picture over here, left hand side, and coming up with a nice clean picture like we have over here on the right hand side. Now, to do this well, there are a few tricks that you need to know how to do. There are a few tools we'll be using to make this work out perfectly, and we might need to be doing different things in different parts of the picture depending upon what the background is behind the text, and also some tricks to make it work out the best way possible. If you like these videos that I'm doing here, if you like all the different techniques you're learning here about Photoshop Elements, why don't you consider helping out and clicking on that button right down there, bottom right hand corner that says thanks and just sending a little thanks to help keep this channel up. Also subscribing really helps a lot. And the main thing that pays for this channel and keeps the channel going, gives me the time to do these videos is my training course for Photoshop Elements. It is the best way to learn this program. I tell you a lot of stuff in here on YouTube, but I'm really not showing you most of what you can do in the program. I'm never talking about the organizer, for instance. There are a lot of tools over here I never even use in these videos. There's a lot of stuff in the menus I never even touch upon. So if you want to learn everything about how to use Photoshop Elements, to click my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and download this picture. I got this off of a site called Pixabay. Let me bring that up. Here's Pixabay. This is a great site for finding public domain and free images to use. And our download is right over here. I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on the link and get right to this page. And over here on download, you want to be downloading this one here. It says 1388 by 1920. That's the size we're working with. Choose download and then save this onto your computer. And I'll put it right here in my projects folder and choose save. Let's now go back over to Photoshop Elements. Okay, I'll now get rid of these things in here. And let's open up that file. I'm not going to be saving that. File and open. And there's my finished one we looked at. And here's one we just downloaded. Let's open this one. Choose open. And there we are. I'll just dock that right there. And let's show our layers, layer button right down here. And here's our layers. And the first thing you want to do whenever you're working on an image like this is to make a backup copy of this inside of this file. Easy to do. Go over here to where it says background, right click on that name, choose duplicate layer, choose OK, hide the background, and that's now a safety. If we mess this up, we can always go back to this saved version right here and we're back to the original again. This is a real good habit to be in. Let's now zoom in on this. We'll start up here, upper left hand corner. There we go. If you hold the space bar down, you can move things around when you're zoomed in like that. The first tool I use for this is the Content Aware Fill, and that's in most of the more recent versions of Photoshop Elements. If you don't have that, I'll show you how to do this without that in just a moment. But we'll start off with that. So grab the lasso tool, it's right over here, in the Select section right there. And then take a look at your letter and see if there's anything sticking out, like there's a bit of a brown shadow right here. Make sure you catch that shadow. And come in, just come right around this. Don't go against the letters themselves, just kind of work just outside, just a little ways. And I found that this works out best if you do it one letter at a time. If you try all at once, there's a good chance you're going to be getting other stuff inside of that. So the smaller your selection, the closer the clone stamp comes from. So make your selection real close to your letters. And then go to the Edit menu, come down here to Fill Selection. And then right here you want Content Aware, which is that one. Set up Mode Normal, Opacity 100%. Choose OK. And there we go. It just magically goes away. Let's just do one more of those. And when I did that selection, I was on the new selection right down here, which means the next time I click, it goes away, which just happened just then. Let's just do one more. I'll do the A in here again, stay in fairly close. There we go. Don't get too far out. And come around here, back to the beginning, and then edit. Come down to fill selection, content aware, choose OK. And there we go. Click inside to deselect that. Or you can use the Control D keyboard shortcut if you want. Either way, it works out just fine. Okay, a couple of things I wanted to point out right now. One is get this a bit of kind of a, a darker area here. It's kind of ghosting a little bit. We can remove that real easily with a clone stamp tool right over here. You see, there's a clone stamp tool size. I always have mine on a soft edge for this. And what you do is you come out just outside of that spot, find something else that matches it, hold the Alt key down, click on that spot, and then you can come over this and click over here and cover up that little bit. And that solved that perfectly. Now we have this duplication here. There's kind of a line here and a line here. I want to lose that line. I'm going to go up here, grab a second spot, again, Alt key and click, and come over and hit that line here. We now no longer have that line, so it's now perfectly hidden. So you may have to do a little bit of that. Now, also with a clone stamp tool, this is what you would use if you don't happen to have the content aware fill, if you're working with an earlier version of Photoshop Elements. So for that, again, make sure you're on a soft edge brush. You may need to have a smaller size. You bring this down to 30 pixels for this particular picture. Your brush size will depend upon the size of your image. I'm going to come out here. Alt key and click, and then just come in and just paint right over that. Now notice how I can see what I'll be painting in here. You can kind of see it right there. 
before I push. So I can see where I'm cloning from and I can then copy that over. Now that is two things that's allowing that. One is here where it says aligned and also it's set on show overlay and clipped. Now this is the defaults. So you probably can just leave that alone, but just in case you've been playing around with here, this is what you want. You want show overlay, 100%, clipped, and you want aligned, and then you're all set to go. Now you can use either method that you want. I'll use either one depending upon what I feel like, kind of what my mood is. I'll usually try the content aware fill first because it's just a little bit faster. And then I would go through and do all of these letters that exact same style. Now hold the space bar down and just pull this over here. I wanna show you one problem area and that's right here where we have the image is actually going right on top of, right there, you can see it on top of this plate or something in here. So let's go ahead and we'll fix this. Now, way you solve this one is we need to zoom in a bit closer. And then I wanna grab my lasso tool. I have feathering set at zero, no feathering. And then I'll make a very careful lasso, just real careful right across here, right along this edge. And in here, I'm gonna go right on top of that. And that's where that edge would be if that number seven wasn't in front of it. Got a little ways then up and around like that. And then back around to the beginning. And we can then work inside of that selection and it's gonna protect anything outside of the selection. Again, space bar here. And we'll go back to the clone stamp tool. And I'll come right down here, alt and click right there. And then there's our clone stamp. And then I'll come right along that edge. And notice I can clone stamp over that and clean that out without damaging that plate. So here's where that clone stamp tool and making a selection really helps. Now we have these two dark spots in there. You either can paint those up by getting a matching brown or I'll use the clone stamp tool again. This time I'll use the left square bracket and that brings my paintbrush size down. So it's just about the same size as that. And then right over here, now we need to get rid of this selection. So control D to lose the selection. Hold the alt key down and click right inside here. And then I'll just bring that right on top of that dot. Do that one more time, right on top of that dot. And that fixes that. So if you're against an edge like that, that's how you would fix that. Let's now back out a little bit and see how we're doing. I'll just do our zoom controller to slide back out. Looks great here, looks good over there. So for this top part, that's what I would do. I would just, I'd first try the content aware fill up here on the letters. If that didn't work, I would then come in with the clone stamp tool. And I would do one letter at a time. You'll get the best results if you do it that way. If you do a whole word, it's gonna get messed up. I guarantee it. So take your time and do one letter at a time. And that solves this area up here. Let's now hold the space bar down. We'll take a look at the bottom down below. Basically the same idea. I would do that for all of these things. We'll do one of these things, see how this works. I'll come over here and I'll do the T. It's a pretty good example right there. And again, take the lasso tool. I'm doing this one because there's this line in behind here. And the content where it fails is pretty good at things like that. And you'll see there just a second. So let's come around and grab just the T, go in between those two letters here, back to the beginning, and then edit, fill selection, content aware, choose okay. And notice how it did give us that line in there. And it did a good job. It kind of messed up right down here, just a little bit. Control D to deselect. And on that, I can just kind of soften that up to solve that. For that, I'll go back to the clone stamp tool. I have a pretty small brush size. You can see it right over here, right hand side. Small brush tool, I'm gonna come right up here Alt and click, and I'll just take just a little bit of that out. There we go, just enough, and then that now looks natural. I'll do the same thing right down on this side. A little bit right there, and that works. No one's gonna spot that. Now on these kind of letters, make sure you look at the whole thing very carefully. For instance, right over here on this letter, you have the dark part, the lighter part around it, and there's kind of a light area here, kind of a whiteness right here, and a little bit in there. So if you're making your selection, Make sure you grab that part as well. So we come down like this and go clear down around that bit right down there and then back up again. If you miss that, you'll have a white spot showing or a light spot showing on your selection that's not gonna look as good. A lot of these have that light area in there. So just make sure you keep aware and look for everything that's part of that letter. Okay, so that's the basic bit in here. Control D to deselect. And let's do a control zero to fit screen again. One more thing I wanna show you down in here. And that's this very large letter. The bigger area that you're gonna be doing your selection on, the more chance it has of getting messed up and grabbing more stuff than you want. And this big C is a good chance for that. So on this kind of a setting, I would come in and get rid of these two parts first, get those out of the way, and then try this. And we'll see how this goes. And again, here's our lasso tool. And let's first get this little apostrophe out of here. Surround that, edit, fill selection, choose okay. There we go, that was perfect. 
Let's now do the E again. We're staying outside of that white area up there. I want to get rid of that as well. Or we'll see kind of a ghost of an E in there. We don't want that. Try to get in close, but not too close. And make sure you get all of that part of the letter. Same thing. Edit. Fill selection. OK. And notice how it was a larger area. It's bigger than our other letters. So we got a little bit of something else. Now, if this happens, Control D to deselect and then reselect it and do it again. Don't just use that same selection. I found it works better if you reselect and then come in close again. You have a much better chance of having this work out for you. So there we go. And then edit, fill selection, choose OK. And there it is. That's taken care of. OK, so now take a look at the C. Now, this is going to give us some of those problems. We'll take a couple of shots to get this to work. Same idea. Let's just come in here and make our selection around that very large C. And again, the larger your selection, the greater chance you have of getting those little kind of artifacts showing up in there, which will take some cleanup. So do your small stuff first. Stay as small as long as you can, and you have better results. OK, edit, fill selection. There we go. And actually, it turned out very, very well. We only had just this one little spot down there. It's better than I was expecting. Let's just grab that one real easy. Edit, and then fill selection. And there we go. OK, let's go back to fit screen. And I'll just do this for all the letters. They all take the same technique. And there's one more thing I want to show you, and that's over here. Right-hand corner is kind of an address in here of the printer on this. This can be done either way. Because we're against an edge right here, I'll use the clone stamp tool on this. So I'll grab the clone stamp tool. And I'll use the right square bracket to bring my size up. Like that, so it's big enough to cover that lettering. I'm going to run over the line and hold the Alt key down. You see our little pointer here? Put that right on that line and click. I can then come in and I can reposition that line. There you see that? And get that exactly right, right here. And I can then clone from that spot. And that allows me to get that line in there perfectly. There we go. So I just work down like that using the clone stamp tool to get rid of that little bit. OK, Control-0, fit screen again. And there you have it. That is how I go through. And that's exactly how I did clean up this image to get rid of that lettering in there to give you a clean image again. Either if you want to have different lettering, have it say something else or use it differently. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these kinds of videos, then consider sending a thanks. Again, that's the thanks button bottom right hand corner of the video. Or if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my training course. My complete training course covers everything in the program. And there's a link for that in the description. Take a look at that and see what's involved. It's actually very inexpensive, but well worth it. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. That really does help this channel keep on going. And I'll see you next time.